Um, well, one kid for a, a project brought his bed to school and slept in the cafeteria all day. That was one. Oh, I had a friend who, who made a, a journey through space in 12 parts for a video, video show, and it was 12 one-a-minute segments of a screensaver of stars moving at you. The 32. You don't use it a lot, but it's exciting when you get to. When I keep it short, you know, got kind of a nice Clooney vibe to it, but then it gets pretty out of hand pretty quick. I don't know, but it, they definitely are. They find the worst ones ever. The every, it's, it's true, I can't argue with that. <laughs> every worst dude ever on a reality show is from Boston. There's just a lot of those like affliction type bros there, tap out dudes. Yeah, a lot of red faced dudes that want to fight. Straight scoop em styles from that one real world was pretty sick. Oh, Ghostface for sure. Because he's been good the whole time. Everybody else got shitty. Ghost kept it real. I'm like Lil Wayne. I don't write anything. Or JR Blastoff, I guess. No pen, no punches. <laughs> Someone told me one time that a skater wouldn't go out because they didn't have shoelaces, which I thought was pretty good. Oh, I'm not very creative. Like, just that you got it, dude, or something, which half of them hate to even hear. Mike Moe's got a lot of specific ones. Like, sometimes he wants you to just give him a thumbs up with your left hand for whatever reason. But most people, it's just the usuals. You got it, dude. Uh, when a cop asks how old you are, and I have to say 33, right after, you know, Mike Moe said 17 or something like that, looking like a Nambla. <laughs> Glad to see you, I had a funny dream and you were wearing funny shoes.